Alright, you're welcome back. Um, I'm sure you all know about the Future Awards Africa. The Future Africa Awards. Yeah. The Future Awards Africa. The Future Awards Africa. Also, I got it the first time. Yes. Um, it's 10 years this year. And um, for those of you who have dreamed for so long to win the Future Award, we're going to be telling you how to go about it and what is planned for the 10th season. I have here with me Ohimai Atsafo, Chairman Central Working Committee of the Future Awards Africa. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Okay. And of course, Bukola Adebaki, manager. She's my boss as well. <laughs> yeah. okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, Maya, let's, let's, start, with, um, let's start with you now. Um, okay. Ten years. It's, it's, you've been a part of this journey for quite a while now. Yes. And um, what's different this time? Um, I mean, the big difference is that it's, it's, it's 10 years. Uh, it's a 10th year anniversary. And, and for that, we're trying to project the future awards to even a, a, bigger, a bigger level. I mean, every year we try to do it bigger, but we have to mark the 10th year anniversary, you know, the way anyone will mark a remarkable year. Yeah. So we are, we're going around Africa for our, our town hall meetings so we can galvanize Africans to understand more um, about the future of Africa and what it actually stands for. Because all we're trying to do here is to really... Um, demonstrate um, the richness of talent and skills that we have within the African continent, the young um, people that can actually take over the country, the continent, and take us to the next level. You know, probably take us from developing to developed. And we already have these people doing things in key places. So we want to celebrate them and also what they have done or what they're doing. Yeah. You know, and, and that way other Africans can plug into it and together we can actually make this continent what it is. It really can be. Yeah. Yeah, because I tell you, it's a long time, and I hear uh, there's a theme this year Imagine Africa. Yeah. What is that about? Okay, basically, um, Imagine Africa is we're trying to say, okay, what do you want to see in Africa? Imagine Africa being big, Miyagi Africa, to, what do you, exactly do you want to see in Africa? So we are actually celebrating young people that are spotlighting what they, what they are doing in communities, in their countries, and that's what. Imagine Africa is about basically. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, just whatever it is you imagine about Africa. Exactly. You, okay. Let's let's talk about the nominations because I know nominations are open now. Yes. Yes. Right? yes. And um, I know w w the future awards used to be the Nigerian awards. It was probably not not even that easy, but it was easier to manage here. You know, you had nominations from across the country. You know, at the time, on a, on an African scale now, how oh. does nominations work? It must be a hell of a process. <laughs> I think, I think, I think, I mean, the first thing that we do, okay, uh, the Central Working Committee is actually look out for Africans that are um, doing big things in the continent. So we do our research, okay, through our network and um, people around Africa to get that. But again, we also open it up to the public and tell them to nominate anyone between the ages of 18 and 31 mm -hmm. that is doing anything that is um, in their community or locally or globally that is bringing about positive change and also inspiring the, young, the younger generation. So if you know these people, nominate them, okay? Also, we also, um, we also ask that there should be actually um, documented evidence for, you know, not just call somebody. I, I can just call my guy now, Ibuka, he's a great guy, <laughs> but, you know, we know he may not just be. So we have to show documentation, <laughs> you know, that yeah. he's doing something positive. So it's also, we want evidence. So that way, with people coming to us and saying, I know some person in Namibia, I know someone in Tanzania, I know someone in South, South, South Africa, we can get these people then. We have our you know, panel of, you know, you know how our team is made up of really, really strong people that we respect. You know, not young people in this case, but really, really... We have a track record. Yeah, we have yeah. a track record, yeah. Pure empirical data, as they say, of people that have done things that are, are phenomenal. And they form part of the judges for the, for the future award. Okay. So that's how we want to source this. And again, our town hall meetings are, in, are important. We're going to a mm -hmm. few African countries this time to actually go and educate and inform people about what the future and what Africa stands for and yeah. hope to get nominations from that. That's the, still talking about the process now because, I mean, there's 53 countries on the continent. Yeah. You know, I mean, m more than half don't speak English to yeah. even start with. So there's also that, you know, hurdle to cross as well. And um, so how does this work? Uh, first of all, traveling across Africa is tedious. Every, every yeah. country needs a visa on its own besides West Africa. You know, we have all of those issues. And um, so are there times when you nominate maybe people who you've seen 
without necessarily anybody sending a nomination that you say, okay, I've identified this person as a team or as a central working body yeah. and you nominate them on your own without necessarily... Um, yes, um, in addition to what Maya already said, we also do res our own research okay. and then source for these nominations. And then we have representatives in the countries, like you mentioned the French-speaking countries. Yeah. We have representatives, volunteers there who go around to identify these young people and then send them to us and then we verify, make a few calls, interviews and then add them to the nominations. Yeah, and you have how many, how many people per category? How many nominees do you really have per category? Five per category. Wow. Yeah. So five, five, <laughs> five finalists. Are yeah. the ones that were but yeah, again, is, nominated, we have a lot of. You think five is small? It's yes. tight. So I mean, it's a, it's a tough one to land the five. It's always yes. a struggle because from our research, we could have already have like eight people. Then when we get the public bringing nominations, all of that that thing could grow up you to like have to shut twenty. List. I mean, one of the categories like um, entertainment is always like <laughs> things Very like that. Or yeah. Entrepreneur, you know. Things like that always get a lot of, you yeah, know. Entrepreneur, of course, would be crazy. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I know now it's, it's, it's an in, to the in, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, for business. So you're going to have a lot of people. Then we have to now start, you know, scrutinizing them to come up with the top five. And that's the most painful step, yeah. to be honest. It is hard. How many categories, what are some of the categories, sorry, that we might be looking for? Okay, we have the Future or what's Prize in Agriculture, okay. the Future Awards Prize in Community Action. We have for Entertainment, Enterprise Support, the Tolumi Prize in Business. That one comes with money. Yes. I have to admit that I have prize. <laughs> and and business. <laughs> so we have ten categories in all. So that's even tighter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, pub there's public um, there's public service. Public service. Um, Education. Entrepreneurial support. Then there's a big one. The, the, the young, young person. Young person of the year. So ten plus young person. Or no, nine, nine plus, plus the young person, person of the wow. year. Wow. So that's basically just fifty people who are going to get nominated. Yes. yes. That's hard. It is, it is very hard. <laughs> it is very hard. Why, why the decision? Because I know in the past, there, you, there were categories way back then when there were close to 20 categories, I think. Why the decision to I think that when you look it at tighter? it seriously, I think you know, as we have grown, we've realized that there are some things that you now understand to be more of something. I'll give you a good example. We used to give like best model, best stylist, best designer. But I didn't do that a lot of entrepreneurs. Okay, so we look at it. Even though you're a fashion entrepreneur, you should be able to fight head and head with an oil and gas entrepreneur because you are both business, business people yeah. during, at the end of the day. So we've looked at that and kind of restructured it to be, make it a lot tighter. You know, that way the other young people that are looking up to these guys that have won, you know, their definite, their aspirations are very channeled at the end of the day. So I think in as much as it is tighter and tougher, I think it is cleaner. Yeah. And that way, you know, what we stand for is, 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 is stronger. Yeah. Because what are some of the uh, activities that, that will happen before the event proper? Are there things that are planned? Okay, yes. Yeah, so we are having the African tour. There's a city tour. We are going to 10 cities in Africa. Can I come? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to come. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, basically, you already mentioned that it's the town hall meeting, and okay. we are trying to source for nomination in places we know we would not be able to, maybe the publicity may not be able to get to. So we have to do flyers, meet one on one people in communities to get get nominations. So and then we are having the nominees reception and then we are having the summit. The summit is a day before the awards and then we're having the main awards. Okay. Do we yeah. have dates for any of this yet? No um, well um, the dates for the awards is December sixth. Okay. Yes, so that's the conference. Nice. Um, do you know what countries exactly are you guys going to? Do you have any idea? Yeah we're going to South Africa, we're okay. going to Tanzania. Going to Gambia, Ghana, and then <laughs> Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think we're also going to North. We're going to Canada. Yes. Too, yes. So we're, going, we're trying to go everywhere. Yes, yeah, important. We talk about how you look at Nigeria like one country, but you know it could be half of the continent. Yeah. I, think. So <laughs> I, I was going to say that because Nigerians. Let's not forget. I mean, it's, we're in Nigeria, so let's talk about Nigeria now and how Nigerians can get involved with nominations. What should Nigerians do? Um, again, let's be very proactive. I, we've seen in the past where. We published a list of finalists and people started to complain that also a person didn't make the cut. And we're saying they didn't make the cut because you didn't nominate them. Okay? You can't just know so that. So, <laughs> exactly. We, we do our research, we get feedback from the public, but it's also key that if you want to say someone didn't make the cut, you should be able to have nominated that person with documented evidence of yeah. what the person has done. So, I think, and we are very lackadaisical, you know, as Nigerians. Really, for the last minute, we start to scream. So it's good that we get active from the from the get go and actually nominate people 
with, with good information, good, good documentation to back that up. I think that's what we're going to do. And I think this year, maybe I, I always suggest that we actually present like two of the finalists and say now we have two. If your people haven't made the Middle cut, <laughs> it's a good time to nominate. Okay, so before the five is complete. Right, before the five yes. is complete. Maybe now we get to excited. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because you know how it is. I mean, uh, if Ibuka can make it, then why? Yeah. why? I, know, I know my guy that does better than him. So yeah. maybe maybe that's a good way. Because you have to also work with the people. If you know there's yeah. a weakness within us as Nigerians to do things, you should look for a way to kind of like um, ensure that we, we do it right. Yeah. So, so we're, we're going to work on ways to ensure that people nominate. And but it's really on them. Yeah, I was always coming with a lot of noise. Like people yeah. are like, why this, oh, yes. why this, why this? Yeah. How do you guys handle that? Because I mean, it must be a lot sometimes. <laughs> with people always wanting, oh, it should have been me or something. Uh, yeah. well, that's why we ask people to go out and nominate. If you can, you, you, have to, you can also nominate yourself. So we encourage people to nominate yourself. You don't know anybody that can nominate you. At least you know yourself very well. And so what you've done. I think, again, something I've realized, that especially in Nigeria, no, no matter how it is, even when the winner comes out with 100 to 1 or 99 to 1, we still going to be that one person. There was wuru wuru. I know, something Naturally. happened. I think it's worldwide, actually. I think, yeah, 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 exactly. I think so. It's just the same with awards. I think at the end of the day, all we have to do is have information just to back up why the person has won and yeah. you can actually see the all the criteria to say that this is what the person is seeking the book. I mean there are times that we've sat down and the young person of the year goes to someone and people feel like no this person should win because he's popular. I would say no it yeah. is not it's not a fame it's contest. It's not you vote and this is the winner. No, it's more on it's, it's a more technicality than anything mm. else. Yeah. So the experts say this is, these are the people that have done it, not not the, not the crowd. We're gonna have people nominate websites. How yes, they, um, they can go on our website and nominate www.thefutureafrica.com forward slash awards, and we've made it very um, easy. We have um, explanation on every category, the ten categories, so yeah. you'll be able to you read on what? the you have to know what you're nominating the person for, and then you nominate. So it's straightforward and www.thefutureafrica.com .com slash awards. Slash awards. Yes. Um, when, do you know when the nomination is going to close? Yes, September 11. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't remember anything else that we said today, September remember 11. that nomination <laughs> closes on the 11th of September. So that's enough of the time actually for yes. anybody who wants yes. to. Yes. I mean, yes. So you can take your time out now to Think about it, research people exactly. again mm -hmm. before you put out. And let people. them just start coming in immediately because mm -hmm. it's key that we get the nominations in immediately. So by the time we get it, by September cutoff, we have yes. enough time yeah. to now start pruning down to prune down to yeah. the, the finalists, which is yeah. a tough, tough process. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't envy your jobs. I, I don't. <laughs> Anything else you want to add before we go? Quickly? <laughs> Social media handles you want people to follow? Okay, so that yes, get at TFA Africa. Okay. We can get information from the Twitter handle. At yeah. TFA Africa. At TFA Africa. So just follow the handle and you yeah. get all the information you need. And uh, once, once again, the website, thefutureafrica.com forward slash awards. awards. Go there and nominate. Don't nominate me, I'm overage. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yes. <laughs> I thought I was 26. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Thanks for your Thank very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to all the hopeful winners, nominees, who are going to be there. And uh, like I always say, you can follow the conversation after this on Twitter, why Niger TV. Is the handle, the hashtag to follow, to drop in mind. You can also visit the website, whynaga.com. Remember, you've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next time.